Over the past two weeks, our special online series has focused on the horrible world of sex trafficking. It's called Selling Girls. A study at UT Austin found more than 300,000 people are being trafficked in Texas alone. News 8's Monica Hernandez takes us inside a Dallas facility working to get help for victims trying to start new lives. It might be hard to believe that someone with a smile like this <laughs> has experienced so much pain. People will say, they're like, oh, well, you must have lived a really great life. I'm like, yeah, except for those homeless here. Handhandling and addicted to drugs, a path Robbie Hamilton never expected when she was lured into the sex trade around age 15. I remember not feeling like I was gonna be accepted back into society. Then at age 41, she found New Friends New Life, a Dallas nonprofit that empowers sex trafficking survivors. This is your desk. Okay. <laughs> 15 years later, she's coming full circle. She'll help others in this expanded location for girls 12 to 24, opening next week. There's nothing more healing than someone looking at you and saying, me too, I know. Too many girls in Dallas know all too well. And the Dallas Police Department estimates that 400 girls are on the streets of Dallas every night being trafficked. The average age of girls trafficked in Dallas, 13. Trafficking is not always being grabbed and thrown into a car. Trafficking is being groomed. Yeah. That's why this center is so important. Once it's complete, it will help build girls up with three hot meals a day, clothing, counseling, and love. If you're talking about a young girl under the age of 18 who is selling her body day in and day out up to 10, 11, 12 times a day, there's no choice in that. If they need a place to sleep, they'll get referred to shelters for sex trafficking survivors, like this one in Dallas that just opened this week, all thanks to new initiatives from the governor's office. Having been there myself, I'm going to be the one that's going to see them first. And until the problem stops, centers like this will open the door to hope. Just ask Robbie. Monica Hernandez, Channel 8 News. We invite you to watch our complete digital series on the efforts to stop human trafficking online. It is staggering. Just go to WFAA.com slash selling girls.